there once again welcome to Adiotech. in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make the background of any image transparent using photoshop so you can see this image has no background so if i want to use this image on top of another image this is going to be straightforward okay so if i go to photoshop i have a city here i have this nice image and i want to drag another image on top of this but i don't want this image to have a background i'll show you how to do that so if i go to my images and then i drag this image to photoshop and i just drop it on top of this if I drag it on top of this i can just resize it and position it anywhere i thought i want and then i can hit enter this image has no background so you can see i can move it anywhere i thought i want on top of this particular background and it's basically going to be just fine okay so this is what we're going to do in this particular video tutorial i'm going to show you how to do this in two ways you may have image that have multiple backgrounds or just one background so if you check this image over here is having multiple backgrounds so i'll show you how you can do this and then when we come here this is another image and this is going to be simple when you have just one color background and it's a smooth color it's easy to do that okay so let's try the first one the simple way how to remove this background okay and then make this transparent in order to do this we're first going to we are first going to double click and then unlock our image background so you can see over here at the background layer we just have to double click and click on ok in order to what unlock this image so now we're going to clear the background of this image and mostly when you come to the tools option and you we have the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool we're going to use the magic wand tool to do this so select the magic wand tool and just click on the white background and you can see it will select the entire white background just press delete on your keyboard this way and then it will delete the background for you okay when you have another part left just select that place by using a magic wand tool and i hit delete and i to delete it ctrl d to deselect it so that selection will go so this time around you realize that this image is now what a transparent what image i can move it on top of any image and then it's going to be what a transparent so you can see it has no what background if i move it to the city over here and i try to enlarge this you can see still it has no background just confirm this you can see it still has no background so this is very simple the first option is simple if the background is just one color that is simple and it's straightforward and then i'm going to show you how you can save this to maintain the transparent background as well so after you get this when you save it straightforward as jpeg for joint photographic expert group and mostly it's going to be a flat image and you can make your image background transparent but in order to make this keep your transparent background all you need to do is to go to files save as and we're going to save this as png that stands for portable network graphics so you need to select that option png so when you save this image as png let's say png i'm just going to save it as it is and then i'm going to save it to desktop so when you save this as png it's going to what maintain the background of that image as transparent just click on ok and then i'll go back to my desktop and then i'm going to look for that image so i saved it as what png and it's right here and if i drag it back to photoshop i'm still going to maintain the transparent background so this is it you can see the name png and still when i drag it to anywhere it's still going to work transparent so this is how to save image that's the first option because i have just one white background one color i'm able to use the magic wand to, to do that so what about you have a multiple background this way i'm going to turn this off there's multiple background if you want to use the i'll first going to unlock this image double click and click on ok to remove the lock i'm going to delete this if i want to use the magic wand to on this background it's not going to work because this contain what multiple images okay remember to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and share with friends okay so this is not going to work you can see the selection is never going to be perfect because it contains multiple backgrounds and selecting and deleting is going to be a lot of work so in this case you're going to use the pen tool okay use the pen tool to cut around this image and then you can make the background transparent so in order to do this come to tools and we select what the pen tool once the pen tool is selected you can use a zoom tool and enlarge your image a bit so i can see the edges and then cut around it so i'm going to use the pen tool again just select click and then add anchor point add anchor point hold down control and then drag it and make sure it's 
it make it fits to the edges of this particular image okay so you do this around the entire image so i'm just going to cut around this image just select around this image this way use a pen tool so this will give you the ability to cut around the entire image and we can turn the background transparent as well okay so there are several ways of doing this the first option is when you have the background of one color background that is very straightforward you can just cut that one straightforward you can just use the magic wand to, to do that but when you have multiple background this way it's going to be difficult and the best option for you is to cut the image from the background so in this case i'm using what the pen tool and one of the tools you use a lot in photoshop is the pen tool so i'll just drag once i add a point anchor point i click and add anchor point i'll use i'll press the control key on my keyboard then i can drag it around the edges of my image and i'll make sure it's perfect once it's perfect i'll click and continue adding more anchor points okay i'll continue adding more anchor points this way and you will do that until you are done with the entire image okay you do that until you are done and then i'm going to complete this i'm going to complete this very soon so where you start from you just end it at that point and you are done okay so i'll just select at the edge over here just reposition it a bit move down here go around the entire image and where you start from you end it right there so i'll just join my anchor point once you are done joining the anchor point all you need to do is to right click on your image and go to what make selection now click on make selection it's going to select the entire image for you this way and you can control x to cut this or you just go to the edit icon and then click on what cut so you can see to cut this image from here and you can paste it anywhere at all you want so i'll just go back to my background over here and go back to edit and then click on what paste okay you can see i have this image right here i'll go for my move tool and just drag it and you can see the image is also having no background as well just click on the check icon over here to confirm that so you can see basically this image is also having no background and i can move it around any image at all the same way i save this to keep my transparent background mostly you will love to keep that in order to use it in another design okay so if i go to far i can create a new background and then save this as jpeg and i'm going to show you how to do that so go to far click on new So when i click on new you can just select any background because i've already copied this image i'll just paste it on a new background and then make the background transparent okay so i'll just change this into inches and then just make it 15 by 50 inches and then keep my resolution somewhere around 150 and click on what create okay you can set the background transparent from there but i'm going to show you how to do that so since i've copied this image i'll go back to edit and then paste and then this image is going to be on this background transparent as well so you can see it's having no background but in order to keep this save it and then keep the background i first need to turn this icon of the main background turn the eye over here the eye just turn it off and it's going to make the background transparent and you can go ahead and then save this as jpeg so save us and then you go to what select png once again and then you can give any name let me say done so and i'll save this onto my desktop again if i open this i'm going to keep my what background transparent as you've seen it okay so if i go back to my desktop i'll just refresh my desktop and i have it right here if i drag it back to photoshop you can see you can see it's still what transparent and i can use it on my image as well and it's going to work as you can see so basically this is how to make a background image transparent in photoshop and you can save it for future references and if you want to do any design you keep it as transparent and you can send it to somebody as well a person can use it as transparent but remember through whatsapp if you want to send it to someone they, as transparent you need to send it as document other than that the transparent will vanish 
so you want to send it through whatsapp make sure you send it as a document and then you maintain that transparency thank you so much for watching this short tutorial so that come your way again remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell bye bye